Hi, Roland Winbeckler here for Aztec Airbrush. I've been using an airbrush in my work as a cake decorating artist for many years. One of the things I enjoy doing with an airbrush are the freehand effects. And this means you're not using a stencil or anything as a guide, you're just, just drawing on your surface. Anytime you're doing freehand work, you're building confidence because you're getting accustomed to your distance to the surface and how far to push the color control on the airbrush. So we're going to go light and let it get heavier as we come down. Light and heavier as we come down. And then for the tops of our tree, what we're making is palm trees, so we're going to make these fronds on top more the standard uh, comet tail where we get heavier and then go to lighter to the ends. And just bring it bring some of these out and around something like this and let's see we're gonna make a little bit of a ground for these to set on here a little bit of a land mass so we want a, a hard line here so I'm gonna get close for the hard line And I might even put in some little grasses down here. Down in the foreground here. So again, this is all freehand work so far. Now, let's put, if this is, maybe this is a beach here. So, we'll decide where the uh, water is going to go. And let's say it's going to go right across here. You might leave a little bit of light to the center, so on and off, on and off, with nice smooth strokes, on and off. Now I could take a, a small container lid and just set it here and use that as a mask and kind of, kind of spray around it to establish where it's at. Remove that and that becomes the moon. Then I can take a little bit of paper towel I'm using and tear it in an irregular fashion, something like, something like this. And I can set that against the surface to create the idea of clouds. And you get a nice effect with uh, very little effort.